this time on XCOM War Stories. It's month end, baby. Time for a council report. Why? Because that's XCOM, baby. Shen, <laughs> it's that time of the month. What, you got your period? Ha, uh, nice. Worse, council report. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Now I'm starting to cramp up. <laughs> Welcome to my We're world. We're gonna be like those sorority sisters that get on the same cycle. All right, don't make it weird. Hey, Bradford. Yes, sir. I'm prepping for the April council report. And you need me to present, okay? No, I'm not but... letting you near the council. Not what? after last time. That's not fair. Wait, they gave us an A. I don't want to relitigate your performance last time. I just need some interesting mission stats to impress the bureaucrats. Bring on the cheddar. Fine, whatever. Wait, bring on the cheddar? Money. If you me what you did this month. What I did this month? Yeah. I gotta show those idiots that not all their money was spent on failed NFT projects and Matrix Revolution style underground cavern raves down on level four. What do these council pricks want? Just give us the money, am I right? Something about financial oversight. They actually want to know where their money's going before they give Probably us more. Probably best not to tell them about the eyes wide shut parties down on level four then. Yeah. Wait, what? I need to impress the suit so we can get money. Oh, right. Well, our interceptor shot down three UFOs last month. That's probably a good place yeah, to start. Yeah, nice. Maybe don't mention the two that got away. Yeah, if it comes up, I'll just blame you. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. No problem. What I was able to do this month was decode the composition of a completely new form of alien materials, some of which did not conform to our understanding of physics or material sciences. Okay, that's good. What else? What about field operations? Eight operations in total, five abductions stopped, one terror attack repelled, one UFO raided, and one council mission completed. ba ba ba, -ba -yah! Nice work. <laughs> yeah, you could practically smell the cheddar, Such huh? Shut up, Redford. What? Mm. Look, here's what you tell him. The boys in engineering cranked out two major facilities upgrades. A new satellite uplink and a thermo generator. Good. Yeah, this in is addition, good. In addition, we completed two new satellites, one fancy new scope, and some alloy plating. That's great and all, but it doesn't account for all your spending, Shen. No. What are these line items in the budget for masquerade masks and uh, long black cloaks? I could have sworn you were at that party. Anyway, our soldiers neutralized 90... Just say killed. Okay. Our soldiers killed 92 alien hostiles in April. Oh, hell yeah. 33 dead thin men, 26 floaters, 15 sectoids, with a few drones, seekers, outsiders, and chrysalids sprinkled and in there. And a zombie in a pear tree. Actually, the zombies. I wasn't sure how to classify those. They ain't human anymore, Bradford, so add them to the list. Okay, well, with zombies, the kill count rises to 96. That pisses me off. Sir? Friggin' aliens couldn't give me an even hundred? A uh, hundred would sound way better in my council report. Yeah, because bureaucrats love round numbers. Shut up, Bradford. Like, you know. Send and we commenced a study of the aliens' weaponry. Oh, right. Trying apart self-destructing pistol fragments for secrets and clues we could apply to our own weapons. This all sounds vaguely familiar, but I, I was kind of hazy. Which on... we did. We did apply the secrets to our weapons. Oh. Completing the weaponization of beam laser technology in a matter of weeks. Was that this month? Yes. What a poor. Some good news. We reduced our lethal explosive ordnance usage by 50% month over month. Month. Sounds like gibberish, Bradford. What does that mean? It means last month we blew up 16 aliens with grenades or rockets, but this month we've only used explosives to kill eight hostiles. I'm sure Dr. Vollum is thrilled while the Explosion Brothers weep in their bunks. So how do we actually kill the invaders then? Well, 28 of the 96 came via close-range shotgun blasts. Nice. Presumably to the face. Why doesn't Volan complain about the mess those kinds of kills leave behind? Mid-range shooters also clocked a total of 28 kills. What do you mean, mid-range? Uh, assault rifles, battle rifles, carbines, and saws. Right, the tools of the HMDC. And our long-range shooters saw a 400% jump in their kill contribution. 400? Yeah, marksman and sniper rifle kills jumped from 5 in March to 20 in April. Who gets that credit? Well, I'd like to think that I had a little something Shut to do. Shut up, Bradford. Jeez. Shen, I'm serious. We gotta account for every penny. Someone probably should have told me that before I hosted a ritualistic sex party for the Illuminati down on level 4. Some might argue that you shouldn't have to be told something like that. Live and learn, I guess. Don't... 
Living Lord. Look, here's what you tell those bean counting council pricks. I'm listening, Shen. Beyond all the stuff we already finished, we also started work on three laser rifles, okay. a second scope, right. and a fancy new workshop for my guys. A workshop? No, why not? Great, more engineering graft I have to explain away. Um, assaults and medics, aka the bleeders and healers, racked up 31 kills in April. Their 3.4 kill average was the highest out of any guild. Let's go. But all that close-up fighting came at a price. The bleeders and healers logged more time in the infirmary than anyone else. How much time? 78 days? Jeez. Yeah, not great. Anyway, the Explosion Brothers only tallied 14 kills in April. Explosion Brothers, that's the Engineers and Rocketeers Guild? Yeah, that's Ten right. Ten kills? That's pathetic. Well, yeah, at first look I'd agree, but keep in mind we only selected an Explosion Brother for an operation five times throughout the month. That's it? Yeah, so they're actually averaging 2.8 kills per mission, which makes their members the second deadliest operatives this month. Just go break it to Volan then. More Explosion Brothers from here on Wait, out. Wait, I gotta tell Volan. I, I don't wanna- Man up, Bradford, you friggin' wuss. Alright, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, anything else I can take to the council? Are you serious? What? Anything else? Yeah. You mean anything besides completing three research projects that will have me and my team shortlisted for the Nobel Prize? All in the space of a month? All right, just calm down. It's what? not like you cured cancer or figure huh. out how to jam a second heart into a guy's chest. Okay, next up, the Heavy Metal Death Cult. Great name. The Combined Infantry and Gunner Guild recorded 18 kills, which is actually pretty anemic given they gobbled up 13 roster spots in April. Awful. On the plus side, none of the HMDC had to spend any time in the infirmary this month. So they were neither the best killers nor the best at being killed. Right. A little ironic for a group named the Death Cult, eh? I'm not 100% sure what irony is, so Yeah, I... let's just move on. I think you need to have more- Wait, what? Is this a thing people say? Second heart in the chest? No, not really. It just kind of came to my mind. Not sure where it came from. Hmm. What? Interesting. What, the two hearts thing? Just going to write that down for future reference. The Stealth Society notched 28 kills, but they managed that with the same amount of roster spots as the HMDC across all of April. Scouts and snipers, baby. Sadly, Freaky and Suzuki were nearly killed, so the Stealth Society posted the second most infirmary time of any guild with 60 days. What gives? Honestly, Lightning Reflexes is not working out how we do well, that's your department, Central. Get it fixed. What do you want me to do? It's not like I can run the routes for these Shut guys. Shut up, Bradford. Fix it. And we ordered up two more state-of-the-art friggin' interceptors oh, yeah. once those North American pricks decided they could chip in a few bucks now that they got satellite cut. Well, this at least gets us a little closer to explaining where the money went. I wouldn't stress too much about the money, Commander. Why? I'm pretty sure a few of those council guys were at the Eyes Wide Shut party. Oh, jeez. And I had Murph filming festivities from his gimp crate. Really? So I think we're covered. <laughs> Genius! Lastly, while they're not an official guild, XCOM's rookies logged an impressive nine kills in a- ten percent of the total kill count. <laughs> not bad, rookies. They're not completely useless. All right. Well, on the downside, due to Lindstrom's untimely death, rest in peace, you giant Swede. Rookies accounted for a hundred percent of XCOM soldier deaths this month. Well, I mean, get used to it, boys. What does that mean? That's what I tell the rookies. Get used to it, boys. You're an expendable rookie until you aren't. Dude. What? Commander, you just can't say stuff like that. First off, I can say whatever I want. Yeah, of course. I'm the commander of this outfit. It's one of the privileges of command. Okay, but... Second, can... I'm not saying anything controversial. In fact, it's true. Rookies are expendable. Suck it up. Inspirational leadership, sir. I'm sure that message will really help rookie morale. <laughs> rookie morale? What? It's a thing! Shut up, Bradford. So, how'd it go? Yeah, what happened, sir? Did they approve funding? Shut up, Bradford. What? But also, Commander, how did it go with the council? Whoa. Yeah? Sir? They were very impressed with our performance oh, in April. I knew it! Damn right they yes. were! In fact, they insisted on continuing the tradition of giving us a grade like it's high school or something. Seems silly, given we're literally trying to save the human race and stave off alien invasion. Exactly, thank you. I don't know. Seems kind of logical to me. Shut up, Bradford. What? It's a lot of money. Yes, yes. I'm just saying. So, Commander, what grade did those council pricks give us anyway? Really? We got an A, baby! Hell yeah, <laughs> we did. I would have expected nothing less. 
like that one spoiled kid in class that got paid by his parents for good grades. Well, first off, it Ex-com wasn't spoiling. It was motivating. And my parents made me say uh, that. Of course, Bradford was that Shut guy. Up, Bradford. And there's the trifecta. Look, the point is, like Sweater Boy here, bringing home a good report card, we're getting paid. Nice. Two scientists, Fantastic. one new engineer, now we're and talking. 800 bucks. Oh, this is incredible. Hey, Murph, your gimp crate's getting an upgrade. That friggin' time. Yeah, pipe down, Murphy and Grayson. Wait, that's it? What? 800? Space bucks, numbnuts. Oh. 800 space bucks. Right. I was going to say, 800 bucks doesn't even buy an hour with Payne's mom these days. What? Not that I'd know. That's just a function of demand outweighing supply. Right. Market forces. Classic. Payne's mom has all the leverage. Wait a second. Payne's mom is still on base? On base? Yeah. I'm not sure what kinky stuff on base includes, but I've definitely been to first base. Listen, Jeez, if anyone here is an expert on the economic ins and outs of XCOM's red light district, red it's light this district. guy. What the hell's going but on down on level four? Never sure. mind that. I don't want to get into that right now. I want to carve up the budget, allocate some funds, and kick some alien ass. Can we get to work? Well said, my friend. Here, here. Oh, here, here. Sorry, sir. What have I told you, Bradford? That despite Van Dorn's pirate accent and Corbot's constant huzzas, we are not actually living in an 18th century nautical adventure simulation. And? and to therefore stash that patter before I get the taste slapped out of my mouth. That's right. That is what I say. See, I listen. And I also say one other thing, and I think you've heard it before. Huh? Shut up, Bradford. Yep, I've heard that one too. A number of times. Bradford, shut up. Right. <sighs> All right, so carving up the budget, Dr. Shen. Okay, first things first, we gotta order up some interceptors. Smart. Might as well take advantage of the air superiority commitment from the North Americans. Okay, sure, but some isn't a number, Dr. Shen. How many interceptors shall we order? Well... Raven 1 and Raven 3 are out of commission for the time being, leaving us with two operable interceptors. Not good. I say we fill out the North American squadron. Well, there are six slots in this squadron. So order two interceptors? Is that what I'm hearing? Wow, you're good with numbers, Dr. Vaughn. Oh, thank you, Doctor. You should be head of research or something. Don't tease me, Raymond. It's unbecoming. I'd never dream of it, Doctor. Ooh. You know how I hold you in. Hi, Steam. You, Raymond. Are you guys flirting? Who? Oh, of course not. Okay, because that would be weird. Anyways. Yeah, look, a budget talk. Good, back to business. The HMDC gunners are pissed their buddies are getting all the new laser toys. They're all over me to get an auto laser into production. Typical HMDC tone. Perhaps show. these individuals are just longing to feel the power of your weaponry in their own hands. Oh, I bet they are. Because it's next level power. Doctor. So I've heard. What the hell is going on? You know you have to register any romantic relationships with but HR. But one more important consideration before you jam your weapon in the queue. Oh, I'm all Jam your... That's clearly innuendo. The research team is set to complete the improved body armor project in the coming days. And? How does that apply? We are running low no, on, on alloys. alloys. Wait. Precisely. Low on alloys. Are you guys being literal now, or is this We're a new We're always ending? being literal, numbnuts. I'm sorry. It's so hard to freaking tell with you two. Shut up, Bradford. Low on alloy. Why does that matter? Because you need alloys for weapons, and you need alloys for armor. Can't do both with our current supply. But I thought your team researched alien materials, Vol, and just make some more. It doesn't work like that, Bradford. We can't make this stuff, numbnuts. We can only salvage it from the battlefield and repurpose it. Right. So what do we do? That's the question, Bradford. Sir, what do we do? <sighs> Hold off on the auto laser. HMDC blue balls. I hear you, but we gotta prioritize soldier survivability. All right, but the gunners are gonna be disappointed not to get their hands on that weapon. Send them to me, Dr. Shen. I will show them the studies where suppressed gratification can lead to greater release oh. down the road. Okay. I can't be the only one picking up on this. Wait, huh. I think I have an idea. Me too. What is going Are you on? you thinking what I'm thinking? We're all thinking what you're thinking, and it's disgusting. Shut up, Bradford. What is it, you two? When my team concludes their current research project, we could pivot to a study on the scout class of the UFOs we have encountered. I suspect we will find weak points 
that will make it easier to take down while simultaneously allowing us to salvage more Illyrium and alloys. Alloys which can be used to further our armor and weapons project. Exactly, Dr. Shin. Wow. I thought that was going in a completely different direction. Okay, no auto laser. All right. We preserve the alloys for body armor. Get started on the armor as soon as Volan's team wraps up research, Shen. Will do. Volan, you guys pivot to UFO analysis, but get it done quick. Of course, sir. <laughs> what is it, Bradford? Oh, I just figured Shen was going to chime in with, oh, don't worry about Volan, she always finishes me quick, or something gross oh, like that. Bradford, you should report you to HR, but I am HR, What are you talking I? about? This isn't consistent Shut with... Shut up, Bradford. You think XCOM War Stories will come back? For another season, baby? I hope so, mama. <laughs> but now... Sir? Better be important, Bradford. Our satellites are picking up some kind of repeating message. Are you guys seeing this? Great, Shen's here. I can't open it. I think it's encrypted. Well, of course it is, Numbnuts. I have nearly finished decrypting the file. The whole gang is back together. Don't you guys sleep? Decrypt it. It's an audio file. Play it. What is that? It's Morse code, idiot. From our satellite? Shut up, Bradford. It's repeating. S T L B. S T L B? What does that mean? It's gotta be an acronym, right? Oh, it's an acronym? Not the first ever word with no vowels? I mean, I guess it could be an alien word. No, it's an acronym. Smash the like button, maybe? No, too obvious. Nobody does that anyways. Right. The S and the T clearly stand for season three. I concur, clearly? Doctor. Clearly? I mean, we're just gonna throw out all other options and roll with Shut season Shut up, Bradford. Three. It's obvious. Is it? It just leaves the L and the B. Huh. Okay, how about Season 3 leverages beam weapons? Hmm, doesn't seem right. Season 3 legalize bondage down on level 4. Ooh, kinky. Season 3 lionizing Bradford. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, Season 3 colon losing badly. What? Or Season 3 looks boring. Have some self respect, Bradford. It's harder than you'd think around here, Vol. Shut up, Bradford. Pathetic. See what I mean? Hey, I've got it. Sir? Season 3, launching before long. <laughs> Nailed it! Nice work, Commander. Thank you. Wait, before long? Is that one word or two? Season uh, 3, launching before long. Maybe there's a hyphen in there? What or? does that mean? It means buckle up. Guys, we gotta solve the mystery of The this little gray out. squids are coming back in May and they're bringing their friends. The research team will be ready, Commander. Guys? Same with the engineering me? team, sir. Did I hit my mute button again? Guys? Yeah, we Whoa. can hear you, numbnuts. Oh, good. So, about the L. Shut up, Bradford. We're moving on to season three. But, the, the L. 